so hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another session of pib 247 in today's session we are going to talk about the pib news from 11 to 13th november 2022 and with this all the backlogs have been completed now koi bhi aapka backlog nahi bacha hai chahe wo november ka ho ya october ka ho all right so let's begin with the session without any delay but before we begin if you want to have the pdf of this session you can join the telegram channel and the link for this channel is provided in the description. Alright, so let's talk about the very first question. Which says, where was the PM Gati Shakti Multimodal Waterways Summit organized by Indian Waterways Authority of India? Okay, so it was a summit. Right, it was a summit where this PM Gati Shakti Multimodal uh, Waterways thing was discussed. Alright, so let's talk about this summit. Remember, it was organized in Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh. Varanasi is of course is in Uttar Pradesh. And the objective of this summit is to bring about greater awareness about the PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan with a special focus in the waterways area, right? With a special focus in the infrastructure development in the waterways sector. All right, because of course, naam kya hai? PM Gati Shakti Multimodal Waterways Summit. So to create awareness about the PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan with a special focus in the waterways sector. All right. So that was the objective and it was organized by Indian Waterways Authority of India which works under the Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways. And of course, uh, it further highlighted the PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan, its components and their importance as the engines of economic growth. So of course, when we are talking about, uh, uh, when this summit is about PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan, then we will talk about it. Alright, so let's come back to the question then, it is very easy. The correct answer is option B, Varanasi. Just remember, this is the two things important. Hai, usi mein se kuch na kuch question aega. One thing, uh, the focus area. The focus area was, of course, the waterways. Right? Number two, where it took place? It took place in Varanasi. And it was organized by which organization? So, Indian Waterways Authority of India. That's it. These three things are important in this news. All right. Moving ahead to question number two. Employees, State Insurance Corporations, ESIC's online maternity benefit claim portal was recently launched to ease the process of claiming maternity benefits for insured women. ESIC provides maternity benefit to insured women in the form of payment at the rate of 100% of wages. For what duration this benefit is given to the insured women? Right. So, there is a portal which has been launched by Ministry of Labor and Employment. Now, remember, Ministry of Labor and Employment is headed by Mr. Bhupendra Yadav and this person is also the Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, right? So the Ministry of Labour and Employment has launched this portal, which is ESIC Online Maternity Benefit Claim Portal. And of course, as the name says, this portal will ease out the process of claiming the maternity benefits for insured women under ESIC scheme. All right. Now talking about the maternity benefits which are uh, being provided to the insured women under ESIC scheme. So first of all, the objective behind this uh, maternity benefit is to compensate for the loss of income of the insured women during the pregnancy period or during the childbirth, right? Oh, beneficiary ki baat kare to all the insured women under ESIC scheme are the uh, beneficiary and kitna unko benefit milta hai? So 100% of wages. ठीक है जो भी उनका पीरियड होता है लीव का उसमें जितना भी उनका वेज होता है उसका 100% उनको दिया जाता है राइट एंड रिमेंबर दिस मैटर्निटी बेनिफिट इज गिवन द अमाउंट इज गिवन फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ 26 वीक्स ऑलराइट एंड उसके अलावा इसके अलावा ये जो मैटर्निटी बेनिफिट है इसके अलावा द सम कैश बेनिफिट इज आल्सो प्रोवाइडेड इन इन द केस ऑफ एनी इमरजेंसी राइट इन केस ऑफ एनी कंटिंजेंसी सम कैश बेनिफिट्स अदर देन दिस इज आल्सो प्रोवाइडेड uh, such as advanced stage of pregnancy after delivery or unfortunate event of miscarriage, right? So, uske, us case mein, dusre other cash benefits mein uh, diye jate hai, alright? So, that is all and now let's come back to the question. So, for what duration this benefit is given? So, it is given for a period of 26 weeks. Option C is the correct answer. I hope this is clear. Moving ahead to question number 3. Recently, four-star E-Tri station certification was awarded to Bhopal Railway Station. Identify incorrect statement about E-Tri station certification. Now, what is this E-Tri certi station certification? So, we'll talk about it. Let's come to the news first. Remember FSSAI, which is chaired by Mr. Rajesh Bhushan. FSSAI chairperson is who? 
Mr. Rajesh Bhushan is the chairperson. So FSSCI has given, has awarded the four-star e-trike station certification to the Bhopal railway station. And of course, Bhopal is in Madhya Pradesh. I hope you all know this. Now, this certification has been awarded to Bhopal for providing high quality and nutritious food to the passenger. Okay, Bhopal railway station pe high quality or nutritious food provide karane ke liye this certification has been given. Now, talking about the E-Trite station certification. So, remember, first of all, it is awarded, awarded by FSSAI, right? Under its E-Trite India movement, right? There is a movement of FSSAI, E-Trite India. E-Trite India movement is for ensuring nutritious food for all. Sabko nutritious food avail karana, that is the main objective of E-Trite India movement. So, it is awarded by FSSAI as part of this movement. To railway stations that set benchmarks in providing safe food and nutritious food to the passengers. Right. And the ratings hoti hai, that ranges from 1 to 5 that depends upon uh, that depends upon the third party audit agency which is awarding, which awarded, which awards uh, these ratings. Right. So this station is awarded this certificate with ratings from 1 to 5 upon a conclusion of an FSSAI panel third party audit agency. And the force, the four star rating mili hai, iska matlab kya hai? It indicates full compliance by the station to ensure safe and hygienic food to the passengers, right? And remember, there are five railway stations in the country which have been awarded with the five star certification. So you should remember the name of uh, all these stations. These are Anand Bihar Railway Station in Delhi, Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus, of course, Mumbai, Mumbai Central, Mumbai. Vadodara Railway Station, Vadodara and Chandigarh Railway Station in Chandigarh. Alright, so these five stations are important. Do remember this. Along with this Bhopal, which is in news because it has been awarded with the four-star certification. Alright. So, let's find out the incorrect statement. It is awarded by IRCTC as part of. No, it is not awarded by IRCTC. It is awarded by FSSAI. So, this should be the correct answer because we have to identify the incorrect statement. So, option A will be the Correct answer and rest of the statements are absolutely correct. All right. Moving ahead to question number four. 16th Asian Conference on Diarrheal Disease and Nutrition was organized by ICMR, National Institute of Cholera and Enteric Diseases. Now, what is the meaning of enteric diseases? These are the intestinal diseases or you can say intestinal infections caused by microorganisms. Intestinal infections caused by microorganisms like bacteria, virus, protozoa, fungi, etc. Its theme was this. It was theme, hai, so not at all important for your examination. Ya ki hai. Where it was held, right? The question is where it was held. So remember, it took place in Kolkata. And of course, Kolkata is in West Bengal. So it took place at Kolkata in West Bengal and it was addressed by Minister of State in Health and Family Welfare, Mr. Bharti Prabha. That is not important. That is not at all important, right? So, remember this 16th Asian Conference, it took place in Kolkata with this theme. Theme bhi yaad ki zarad nahi hai. Of course, they are not going to ask such a long theme in the examination. Just remember, it was organized by ICMR, National Institute of Cholera and Enteric Diseases. That's it. Right, and where it took place, and it took place in Kolkata in West Bengal. Alright, that's it. This is not important in case of the The correct answer is option E, Kolkata, West Bengal. I hope this question is clear. Moving ahead to question number 5. Where was, uh, question number 5, yes. Where was the national workshop on localization of SDG in Gram Panchayats to strengthen implement uh, implementation strategy on theme 1, poverty free and enhanced livelihood gram panchayas was held. So, where it took place, remember it was just a workshop on this uh, theme which was poverty free and enhanced livelihood gram panchayas, right. So, it took place, remember in Kochi in Kerala, option C will be the correct answer. Question number 6, which ministry has launched the Green Energy Open Access Portal for ensuring the affordable, reliable, sustainable and green energy for all? Which ministry has launched this portal for ensuring this objective? Remember this uh, ministry in question is Ministry of Power which is headed by Mr. R.K. Singh and he is also the Minister of New and Renewable Energy and his Lok Sabha constituency is R.I. in Bihar. Recently, the Ministry of Road, Transport and Highway headed by Mr. Nitin Gadkari 
and his Lok Sabha constituency is Nagpur, the city of oranges. Awarded the contract of setting up India's first multimodal logistic park to Reliance Industries. So, this contract has been given to Reliance Industries. Where this MMLP will come up? So, this MMLP for which this contract has been given to Reliance Industries is coming up in Chennai. In Tamil Nadu, option D will be the correct answer. The ninth ministerial meeting of Indo US. Economic and financial partnership was recently held in New Delhi and this may jo outcomes the, that is not important for the examination, right? Uh, when was this partnership established by the US Treasury and Ministry of Finance? Remember this partnership was established way back in the year 2010. It is not a new partnership, right? Please don't get confused. Uh, the meeting was held recently, but it was not a new partnership. This partnership was formed in the year 2010. <coughs> Moving ahead. Where was the National Conclave on Science and Technology for Empowerment of Tribal Community held with the theme Science and Technology Empowerment of Tribal Community or the question must be in which IIT took place. So remember it took place in IIT Guwahati which is of course in Assam. Option D is the correct answer. Question number 10. Which ministry has launched the special program for accelerated development of particularly vulnerable tribal groups PVTGs? As a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Now you must, you don't get, uh, please don't get confused between the Ministry of Tribal Affairs and other ministry. This ministry is surprisingly the Ministry of Science and Technology, which has uh, launched this special program for accelerated development of PVTGs. And uh, this program is develop, is for developing uh, into the PVTGs. Uh, you know, unke andar jo science ke towards interest develop karne ke liye, this program has been launched, right? And the last question for today, which portal was recently launched by president? Uh, one second. Yes. Which portal was recently launched by president Draupadi Murmu to offer courses and books of degrees related to engineering studies in 12 uh, scheduled Indian languages? Remember, the name of this portal is eCumb and there is a full form of Kumb as well. It is knowledge unleashed in multiple Bharatiya languages. In multiple Bharatiya languages. Right. So that is the full form of Kumb. So do remember the full form as well. And this, this portal is being hosted by AICTE, All India Council for uh, Technical Education. All right. So that's it for today's session guys. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And I will see you in the next session on Friday. Goodbye, take care and God bless.